Good morning folks. Today I wanted to take a few minutes and do an update on my torpor video. Um, a good friend of mine through Facebook, uh, Bill Reynolds, he runs his own group called Northern Beekeeping. Well, after I released this video last week and Bill got a chance to see it, he took a few minutes and he ran his own test. Now, Bill gave me permission to display his test, so I'm going to share it with you. Here we go. What Bill did was he did a knock test with the butt of his knife and knocking on the hive. He knocked on the hive for 30 minutes. I don't figure Bill sat there for 30 minutes just continuously knocking. He probably did it every few minutes for the 30 minute period. Over that 30 minute period, Bill put together this graph which shows the temperatures in these different hives and the results after knocking with the butt of his knife. I was uh, really impressed with Bill's test. Bill did a really good job running this test. And then as you can see, the temperatures did not change much. So I want to thank Bill for running that test and sharing it with everybody. And uh, I would still like to run my own test. Right now, you know, it's, it's 59 degrees here in Ohio. And it's like December 14th, I believe. And, you know, by now we should be in the 30s, and, and we haven't really seen that but a few days. Now, we do have some 30s coming in about a week, so I want to take this chance today and go ahead and install a temperature probe in this colony here behind me. That way, once Friday gets here, I can start to do my own little testing. And I'm figuring maybe next winter I'll do a more thorough test. And what I would like to do is maybe take at least one hive, get it on a good set of scales, and these scales are going to have to be very sensitive because you're going to want them to notice every little bit of weight that vanishes from the hive. So I'm going to set it on these scales. I'm going to install a couple temperature probes. And then what I'll do is I'll run my own knock test. And I'll observe the temperatures and I'll observe the weight and see if anything changes. But since winter's not really cooperating so far this year, I'm not so sure that I'll be able to do it this year. That's why I'm saying next. So if you'll be patient, I'll get this test ran, but you're going to have to be patient. And until then, we can use Bill's results to show that not really a whole lot changed by knocking on the hive. Now, this still has my attention, and I still think that I will reduce the amount of knocking I do on the hive, if any. I think this temperature probe is, has something to it, and I see a lot of people using these wireless weather stations where you can set one up outside and take one inside and read what the probe's reading outside from your wireless device. So that's a, another idea. You wouldn't have to have one of these multi-feeders. So I'm going to go ahead and take a couple minutes, install this temperature probe. And uh, one thing I want to point out is if you get in your colony this time of year to install a temperature probe or to add food, whatever it might be, don't expect the temperament of your colony to be the same. And the reason for that is, you know, this is a different type of year for the bees. They don't have anything to work. All their food is wrapped up inside of this box. So they're going to protect it. They're not going to be the same bees. So go into it. So I would recommend that you go into it like you have never opened this box before. All right, well, I'm going to throw my jacket on, fire my smoker up, and we'll get in here and install this temperature probe. Now, I don't want to break open any more of the box than need be because the bees have all this stuff sealed together with propolis, and that's going to keep any drafts down on the colony. So I want to be quick and effective. You know, they're a little testy. And I'd like to lay my probe right there on top of that box so that it's equally between the two. Okay, so I'm going to take my probe wire here. And who knows what kind of reaction that's going to get from the bee.
Now keep in mind, it is uh, in the 60s here this morning. We're 25 degrees Celsius. But that's what we're reading in, the, in there right now. And the outside temperature, when I looked a few minutes ago, was about 63. Now, as I said, Friday, and today is Monday, we're going to be in the 30s. So it'll be interesting to see what we can note from this thermometer probe. So I'll shut this off. And I'll let this dangle on the far side of the hive where the moisture doesn't go as much or the rain. And uh, we'll come back and check on it then. Good morning, folks. It's Friday. The day has come. The weather has dramatically changed. It's bouncing around between 29 and 30 degrees here this morning. So uh, I'm anxious to check the temperature on the colony behind me and uh, see where things have uh, landed this morning far as the temperature. So what we'll do now is I'll hook it up to the, the probe that we installed the other day. And uh, after watching the video back of me installing the probe, I wish I would have got a little bit better angle, but I got what I got and I can't change that now. So I've got to work with what I've got. So we'll go ahead and hook up the probe and uh, see where things fall. Okay, so I never really showed you my voltmeter. This is the one I bought from Harbor Freight. And I have less than $30 in this. And it came with the two voltmeter cables and this one probe. Okay, so I've got it plugged in. We'll kick up the screen here so you guys can see. So the temperature is pretty high, so that's making me think that the probe is right in the center of the cluster inside the box. So what I can do is use this to monitor the rest of the year without tapping on the box and uh, tell how my bees are doing. Now, obviously, if it was closer to a temperature that matched the outside temperature, then the bees are most likely dead or the probe has failed to work. So, that being said, that is my little probe test. I'm going to go ahead and unhook it now. So, I hope this test is, uh give you a little bit more knowledge on torpor and, uh, Maybe made you think about using some probes to check your temperature of your hives versus knocking. Now, it doesn't seem that the knocking has done as much damage as I originally was told. But, you know, that has really yet to be completely proven without a set of scales. And, and uh, at the same time, when this engineer that I spoke of in the original torpor video ran his test. This was during the polar vortex. So at these uh, extremely cold temperatures, did that make the difference? Is that why we're not getting the same results now? Because we now we're in El Nino. We just keep going from one extreme weather condition to the other. So it's hard to really do a, a fine-tuned test when the weather is jumping around like it is. So at this point, I would just suggest to keep knocking to a minimum. And if you're able to afford some kind of a temperature probe, go do that and uh, make that part of your way of checking your hive and see what kind of information you can learn from your temperature probes. So until next time, thanks for watching JC's Bees. And if you like this video, don't forget thumbs up. I appreciate it.